Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we will be trying out Shadow Ninetales with Overheat in the Remix Cup and have many nukes with it. So let's get into the matches. Moving into the first match we have a terrible lead against Zangos. We safe switch into our Vigoroth and we bait out a Whimsicott. With the energy advantage we can actually force both the shields out of them or get the switch advantage. I will bring in the Cresselia just to soak the damage and then with two shields hopefully Shadow Continentals can sweep the game. And they bring back the Zangos. I will completely farm it down giving up both the shields and have a lot of loaded energy. And they have a Shadow Lugia in the back. I will cheap it a bit with Weather Ball and then go for the Overheat Nuke. Oh it one shot the Lugia. I farm down the Whimsicott for the win. On to the next match, we have a slightly negative lead against Colbat. They didn't build up to the Shadow Ball, so this is just a poison fang. I try to build up to the future site in the hopes of getting a shield. But they call our bait. I try to cast the Shadow Ball, but this is just a poison fang. And they have a Samurai in the back. And honestly, this is pretty good for us since the Ninetales is avoiding it. We managed to get the switch with Vigoroth. And now I will let it go. And farm down with Ninetales. But suddenly things got worse as they have a Alolan Marowak in the back. I cast the Bone Club onto Chrysalia. Alolan Marowak with shield can beat all our mons. But let's just try to play it out. Here my opponent makes a mistake of throwing the Bone Club. Now we can easily throw the Moon Blast and get it into the overheat range. We have the overheat loaded, but is this enough damage? Overheat takes out the Alolan Marowak, we can just farm down the gold back for the win. For the next match, we have a positive lead against Pelipper. Both our back mods have pretty bad matchups against it, so I would like to play it out here. They build up to the Hurricane, but I will call the bait, and it is indeed a weather ball bait. This is just a weather ball, we can safely let it go and go for the moon blast. I will bring in the Vigoroth just to soak the damage. And they have a Ampharos in the back. Ampharos is pretty glassy in Great League, so we don't even need to build up to the Bulldoze. This is just another Thunder Punch, so we can safely tank it. We farm down the Pelipper as well. What is in the back? It is an Excadrill, and we have Overheat loaded. Overheat one shots the Excadrill, and we get the win. Moving into the next match, we have a negative lead against Snorlax. We safe switch into Vigoroth and we bait out a Dragonair. And honestly this is perfect for us as my Ninetales can avoid it now. This is just an Aquadil, we can safely tank it and go for the Body Slam. Body Slam should put it in the counter down range. Can we get our switch advantage? We almost got back the switch. I will bring in the Cresselia just to soak the damage here. Nodax is pretty loaded on energy, so I will wait for them to throw their energy first and go for some cheap damage, then I will bring in the Shadow Ninetales. They have a Shadow Beetle in the back and this game should be over. Look at those fire spin damage, which is chunking the Shadow Beetle. I will commit both the shields and completely farm it down and have a overheat loaded. 
I will go for the world BM against the Stone Dex and get the win. Moving into the next match, we have a positive lead against Wiggy Ruff. I bring in my Vigoroth just to bait out any counter users or any water type. And they have a Toxic Rook in the back. And honestly this is good for us since my 90s is avoiding it. From this range, I can just Psycho Cut down and have a lot of loaded energy. We can easily tank these Sludge Bombs. They bring back the Wiggly Duff, but I will go for the Grass Knot just to ensure the final shield. And then I will bring in my 90s and they have a Mandibus in the back. And up 2 shields, this is a win for us. We can safely shield all the foul plays and go for back to back weather wall spam. I know they have a boom loaded on Wiggly Duff and we catch it onto the Cresselia even though we didn't have to. And now we can just fire spin down for the win. Moving on to the next match, we have a positive bait against Flygon and they are staying in. I'll go for the Grass Knot bait and we get the shield. I try to call the Dragon Claw bait and it is indeed the Dragon Claw. This is just on the Dragon Claw, we can just safely no shield it. And we get their second shield with the Moonblast and they throw the energy and this is perfect for us as I will bring in the Vigoroth and with the Body Slam hopefully it will KO. They bring in a Wigglytuff and I bring out my Ninetales and they are staying in. So something is incredibly weak to Ninetales in the back. I will commit to the farm down and have a overhead loaded for whatever it is in the back and they have Avamana Snow oh this overhead is gonna hurt and overhead did 400% damage to the Avamana Snow and we get the win moving into the next match we have a positive lead against Shadow Body Toad best part is that they are staying in our back mods are pretty bad matchup against it so I would like to keep the switch advantage Here since the psycho card went through, so I will commit a shield under tap and reach the grass run and take out this polytoad. And they have a dead end in the back. They tried to commit to the farm down, but we reach another grass run and that will do some nice chip damage. And they switch into Cresselia to soak the body slam damage and then I will bring my shadow Kanto Ninetales. They farmed up enough for a future sight. I try to call the bait but they are indeed running future sight. At this point I will farm up to the max energy and go for the over it. Over it takes out the Cresselia and we have a weather ball loaded for the Dredenny. And we farm down for the win. Kanto Nidus is one of my favorite mons and especially in its shadow version it hits like a truck. I had so much fun running it as a closer in the Remix Cup and I definitely recommend investing in one.